Dear friends, happy to meet you once again through this video. In the YouTube series of foreign travelers to Tamil Nadu, we are knowing what Chinese traveler Feixi, a military personnel of the fleet of the Ming dynasty, Admiral Zhang He, who visited India in the early 15th century, told about the Tamil lands. He is author of a historical work named Singcha Shanglan, the overall survey of the star raft consisting of notes about countries visited by Chinese ships. I am going to present the notes on country of Malacca, part of present day Malaysia in this video from the book edited by Roderick Pack. Formerly this place was not called a country. Starting one's journey from Palambang with a fair wind, one arrives here after 8 days and nights. The people live beside the sea. There is a single hill with few people on it. They are in a state of subjugation to Siam. Each year they remit 40 liang of gold in payment of their tax. The fields are barren and give small returns. In Lan there is a mountain with a spring of water which flows down in a torrent. The people take the middle of the flow and sip the sand to get tin. It is melted into blocks which are called peck blocks. Each block weighs 1 chin and 4 liang in our scale. They all weave fine mats with the pith of the planting but they only use peck blocks of tin for trading transactions. For the rest there are no articles of produce. The climate is hot during the day and cool at night. Men and women do up their hair in a chignon. The skin of their bodies is like black lacquer, but among them are some fairer ones who are of Chinese origin. The customs are honest and generous. In seeking a livelihood, they sip tin in the streams and net fish in the sea. Their houses are like storied pavilions, that is, they are not set up in an orderly way. In the interior, they only have pieces of wood and tin cloth. These are high and low with intermediate gradations. They are joined to form beds and serve as divans on which they squat with outspread legs. They drink, eat, cook, and go to school all on these. The commodities used in the trade with them are such things as blue and white porcelain articles, melted beads of all colors, colored tin silk, and golden silver. In the seventh year of Yunglo, the emperor ordered the principal envoy, the Grand Unit Sheng Ho, and others to forward instructions and to bestow upon the ruler a pair of silver seals, a cap, girdle, and robe. Sheng Ho also set up a stone tablet stating that this territory had been raised to the rank of the country of Malacca. From then on, Siam did not dare to disturb Malacca. In the 13th year of Inglo the principal chief of Malacca desirous of showing his gratitude for the imperial favors took his wife and son and crossing the sea came to court to offer thanks and submit innumerable articles as tribute the emperor rewarded him and the ruler returned to his country this is all about the country of Malacca part of the present day Malaysia during the early 15th century as seen by Feixin I am presenting the content from Feixin's book Shingsha Shenglan the overall survey of the star raft based on the draft by JVG Mills edited and annotated by Roderick Pack and published in 1996 I have many more interesting facts told by Feixin we'll meet you soon with another video of his visit to other countries until then thanks with wishes